In this video, I will show how to download and install Ubuntu 22.04 LTS on VirtualBox in Windows 11. So let's get started. At first, open your favorite web browser and then browse this URL ubuntu.com and then download Ubuntu 22.04 LTS ISO file. Click on this download link. It may take a while for downloading Ubuntu 22.04 LTS dot ISO file. I already have downloaded it on my machine. Now ensure that you already have installed Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager and then open VirtualBox Manager and then create a new virtual machine. I am going to create a new virtual machine so click on new and then enter the virtual machine name and operating system after that select ISO image so click on this drop down list and then click on other and select the ISO file you want to install. I am going to install Ubuntu 22.04. So open this as a file. Now skip unattended installation. Okay. Now click on next. Okay. Now you can modify virtual machines hardware by changing amount of RAM and virtual CPU count and enabling EFI is also possible. I am going to increase the base memory size depending on my RAM of my computer. and I am going to increase the number of CPU ok now click on next let's create virtual hard disk ok and then click on next now click on finish and here you will see the settings ok now I am going to change the settings click on settings and then select system here click on processor and enable PA NX now click on display and increase the video memory size maximize the video memory size and also enable 3d acceleration ok now click on ok now I am going to install Ubuntu 22.04 LTS on virtual box let's click on start button open this window in scaled mode and hit enter it may take a while for booting up the Ubuntu now select the language you want to use through installation 
and then click on try ubuntu or you can select install ubuntu option for installing the ubuntu directly now click on application launcher and then search for display and change the resolution okay now click on install ubuntu desktop icon now select language and then click on continue now select the keyboard layout i am going to select us english keyboard layout then click on continue now choose what application would you like to install to start with for normal installation web browser utilities office software games and media players will be installed automatically and for minimal installation web browser and basic utilities will be installed only I am going to select normal installation from other options select installed third party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware and additional media formats and then click on continue it may take a while for preparing Ubuntu drivers okay now select the installation type first option it will erase disk and install ubuntu this will delete all your programs documents photos music and any other files in all operating systems but you can select second option here you can create or resize partitions yourself or choose multiple partitions for Ubuntu here swap space will not be created so I'm going to select the second option and then click on continue and create new partition table click here to create new partition table click on continue okay here you will see free space now create ASP file system for EFI system partition press lock number key from keyboard and here enter the size of memory in megabytes ok and then click on ok and then create soft area select file system soft area and here enter the size of soft area it should be double of RAM now create an ext4 file system and then select the mount point ok now click on ok now select ext4 and then click on install now button now click on continue the partition tables of the following devices are changed to this name now click on continue
Now select the location and then click on continue. Now enter your name. and then enter your computer's name and then pick a username and choose password confirm your password okay now select this option to require password to log in and then click on continue it may take a while for copying files configuring and extracting After finishing the copying files, it may take a while for installing the system. Now it will scan the best mirror and retrieve the necessary files. You can skip packages downloading. Okay, installation has finished. Now click on restart now button. Now press enter key. and virtual manager will be restart automatically now select user and then enter the password hit enter to log in to ubuntu desktop that's it ubuntu 22.04 lts has been installed successfully on virtual box in windows 11 so now change the resolution and enjoy Ubuntu on VirtualBox that's it if you are a new to the channel subscribe the channel and like comment share this video